Now that we have our natural products and we know what it looks like, we need to figure out whether it is useful against the disease we are looking to treat. To do this, we need to enlist the help of biologists. Biologists study life and living organisms, including the diseases affecting living things and how we can treat them. When a biologist tests a natural product to see if it will help treat a particular disease, they can't just feed it to a person or animal, as that would be dangerous. Instead, they feed the natural products directly to what is causing the disease. For example, you have likely learned about how bacteria can cause us to be sick. In the, in the laboratory, scientists have samples of bacteria that can make us sick, and they grow them on specialised plates. They then add the natural product to the bacteria to see what happens. If the natural product kills or damages the bacteria, we learn that that natural product should be examined further to see if it can be developed into a drug. Once we have isolated and tested our natural product against our chosen disease, we don't want to waste all that effort by just leaving the research at that point. Even if our natural product doesn't end up being used as a drug for the disease we were examining, it still, be, still may go on to be found to be effective against other diseases. To allow for further research to be done using our natural product, we can deposit it into a compound library. This allows other researchers to access it and use it in tests against diseases they are doing research on. One such library is Compounds Australia, which is located here at the Griffith Institute for Drug Discovery, based at Griffith University in Brisbane. I'm going to hand over to the manager of Compounds Australia, Moana Simpson, to explain this great resource to you. Compounds Australia is a highly specialised facility that enables health and medical research scientists from around the world to access thousands of compounds, including natural products, that have been deposited by national researchers. The facility allows scientists to test a variety of unique compounds and natural products against a range of diseases as they search for new drugs. The compounds are stored in two forms, as microtiter plates or microtubes. The management of such large quantities of compounds are made possible through the use of robots which can effectively and accurately measure and transfer the required compounds into researchers' microtiter plates which are then shipped to them around the country or across the world. The precision that the robots provide also means only tiny quantities of the compounds are needed for storage and to be sent for testing. 